Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about basic warehouse functions in SAP WM. Before we start, please go through my other videos on P2P process, enterprise structure, subcontracting, info record, vendor concern process and so on. I request you to subscribe my channel, share and like this video. Now let us start. Uh, before we uh, before to our uh, implementation of WM, our physical warehouse layout should exist. Okay, uh, so we will cover this uh, first point warehouse structure. Okay, um, we can create warehouse during uh, our uh, configuration, but no physical address is attached to the warehouse when configuration takes place. Why? Because physical entity should exist, means our plan should exist okay, when it assigned to our specific storage locations. Okay, now uh, when we talk about our warehouse control parameters, uh, in our warehouse control, when we uh, define and assign our uh, warehouse, we have to configure our control parameters also. Uh, what do you mean by control parameters? Uh, control parameters we can say as a certain constraints within which we have to operate. Okay, for example, if uh, our warehouse uses only specific unit of measurement, then this can be then th sorry then uh, we have to configure this parameter. This is called as a warehouse control parameter. We can define uh, this warehouse control parameter through our navigation path. Okay, now. Uh, what is a uh, storage type? Okay, uh, storage type is uh, we can call as a number of areas within our warehouse, and that specific defined areas of storage. Storage means where we put, where we store our material physically. Okay, that specific areas of storage are called as a storage type okay and uh, we we can define a different storage type which is based on our need uh, for example for uh, slow moving products slow moving, uh, slow moving material we can define different storage type or uh, for some uh, special stock we can define our different storage type and we can configure our uh, storage type by following navigation path through IMG. Okay. Uh, now, our next point is put away strategy. First of all, what what is the meaning of put away? Uh, see, in case of warehouse, uh, we have to put that material into our bins, into our racks. This is called as a put away. Uh, generally, what happened is that uh, our inward persons will check the quantity and quality of the material unloaded, and after that, they will take a GRN. GRN is goods receipt note. It is a part of our P2P process. Okay, and after GRN means uh, what? GRN is like a clearance that we have received the correct quantity of the material which were mentioned in the PO. Okay, and after GRN, um, our uh, warehouse persons will put that material into the racks. Okay, so this is called as a put away. In our warehouse, we can have a different team also for put away process. Okay, now what is the put away? strategy uh, so put away strategy is a 
procedure or is a process that uh, can be defined for a, each storage type okay uh, now uh, stock removal strategy so this is a point stock removal strategy so stock removal strategy uh, is also a process that uh, we can define for each storage type for example uh, suppose in our plant uh, or in our uh, warehouse we have storage bins from uh, uh, numbered from a7 to h8 suppose now uh, at the time of picking at the time of uh, removal of the material from that particular uh, bins uh, we have to decide whether we have to start a picking from uh, a7 or h7 i have given this just for example okay uh, we can define uh, our uh, stock removal strategy based on uh, lifo fifo or shelf life uh, expiring date also it depends on the requirement okay now storage sections okay uh, storage sections means what uh, we can define uh, or um, rather we can divide our storage type into number of different areas which is called as a storage sections it is a collection of storage bins where physically material is stored okay this is a physical location where we store the that uh, our stock okay suppose uh, if we take a example of a retail company then we can define uh, our storage section like uh, mains section or a main section uh, mains all mains formal mains uh, bottom like that so this is called as a storage sections okay now the last point is storage bins um, so storage bin is a smallest unit of storage in the warehouse so, correct uh, there is no specific size set for the storage bin uh, and it depend uh, it uh, varies between the company is where it uh, varies as per the requirement so storage bin can be a particular location on a shelf okay or a plastic uh, bin in a rack okay so there are different storage bin types available and uh, we can define our uh, storage bins okay through our img navigation path okay so uh, this is all for now in this video uh, my friends if you have any suggestions or doubts uh, please feel free to contact and again uh, thanks for watching this video uh, please be in touch and bye bye